Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is MATLAB course. Um, in this video, we will solve one of the exercises for the homework one. This exercise number one there are 10 employees working in a company. Write a program that asks the user to enter all names, pay rate in dirham per hour, number of hours for each employee work it this week so if you have exercise like this try to solve it part by part so I will do the first part this one and be smart when you solve the problem because here we have two ways the first way we can ask user to enter the name and the pay rate and number of hours one by one and in this case we need a loop for loop or while loop and it will be longer or long than the other method the other method be smart when ask user to enter the names ask him to enter the names in, in a formal way or say vector way and give him an example same thing for the period and our number of hours so I will open a new script file I will start as usual by writing CLC clear to clear the workspace and also we can uh, close all previous figures now we have to uh, say that add a note or comment uh, ask user ask user to enter to enter uh, say names as a vector as a vector and we can show just example here okay in this case uh, say names names as a vector names it's just a variable name called names to hold all of the uh, names it will be it will be uh, I will use the input function to read these names so the message inside uh, I will show a message so I will write it inside here the message please enter all names as the following or uh, we can say example comma example just to show him how to enter them uh, like this we can show the vector uh, vector of strengths say that Ahmed as example uh, etc 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 okay and then go to uh, next line go to next line and then semicolon next step we want to read a uh, number of hours for each one so we can say that h or hours uh, I will make it easy h like this equal to uh, input again I will use a function called input to input number of hours for each one so the message please please enter number of hours for all as a vector as a vector we can show example example like this okay like say that for the first one a number was 45 for second one 50 60 and so on and then go to next line like this outside semicolon I don't want to see the results on the command window same thing for period control C control V okay you can say that pay equal please enter the pay rate for all the pay rate and as example dirham per hour per hour for all as a vector example we can say pay rate for the first one 10 second one 20 30 etc and then go to next line don't show me the results now let me test my code save 
run now let me check the comma window please enter all names say that we have just three students or sorry three employees uh, we can say that the first one is Ahmad the second one is uh, second one Muhammad third one is say uh, Sami just this okay please enter number of hours say that as example we have for three employees we have the first one uh, as example 45 hours second one 35 and last one 60 hours we pair it the period say that we have uh, as example the period for the first one is 10 second one 20 third one is 30 enter now uh, we, we should we should uh, check the workspace yes we have for H, we have the P here and names. If you open the names, we have one by three string array of strings. Okay, good. So my code is working. Next step. We want to calculate, then calculate the amount of money for each employee made this week. And we know that uh, the number of working hours per week should be 40 hours. If the employee uh, work for 40 or less, he will get paid uh, the regular bid which is as example for the first one it should be 10 uh, 10 dirham per hour for the first uh, 40 hours if the worker work more than 40 hours he should bid the twice of that so it will be 20 so 10 by 2 uh, in this case we have to um, we have to calculate for each one in this case we have to open a new loop to go from one to another one so let me show you how we can start a loop we need a for loop uh, say the counter for this loop is i equal to equal to one i will start from one i don't know how many uh, employees here in this code uh, as said in a question it will be 10 but regardless it is 10 or not we can write 10 here, no problem, but we can say length length of one of the vectors. Say length of the names, length of H, of P, all of them same. I will select P, length of P. And this is the end of the for loop. What should I do? I will calculate. If we, can, if you want, if you want to calculate, uh, we have two cases here. The first case, if number of hours are 40 and less, so we can say that if if h of i when i equal one for the first employee i equal two second one and so on so if h of i less than less than or equal to 40 this is the regular pay this is the end in this case we can say that the pay uh, or money money should uh, should be given say m the money equal to what equal to the h of i h of i times 40 uh, so not times 40 uh, we said that if the number of hours is 40 or less regular b it depends on the pay rate so pay of i and for the first employee we have the first money also for the first one so the corresponding money for the first one equal the corresponding number of hours times the corresponding number of uh, or so uh, I'm sorry pay rate and don't show me the result on the command window like this and this case if the number of hours is less than or equal to 40 just the regular pay what if it is not the regular one if the uh, number of hours exceed 40 else what should I do actually uh, the period equal to what in this case equal it should be equal uh, the regular one okay it should be uh, the regular one that means h of i minus say that h of i uh, minus 40 
h of i minus 40 give us the number of hours exceeded 40 times p of i times 2 in this case times 2 and because h here uh, one value and p one value no need to write dot here okay but this is not enough this is the uh, overtime pay okay plus plus what plus 40 hours times the regular pay which is pay of p of i p of i so this is the regular one remember that in this case number of, of working hours more than 40 so the first 40 hours uh, times p, uh, p of i this is the regular one and then the time or number of hours exceed 40 it should be multiplied by p of i times 2 this is the overtime plus the regular one should be uh, should give us the total money paid to that person if we run this code I will run the code to be sure that everything is okay save run again I made uh, a text file just to uh, to make it easier for me to enter the values say that just I have three as example it should be 10 but to simplify the problem for you please enter number of hours uh, I will cancel it and run again again this is num uh, names number of hours say that 45 by mistake I'm sorry Control C again, run names again, number of hours for each one, pay rate for each one, and as you see here we have the M, the money for each one, 500 for the first one, it's correct, 700 for the second one, correct. 2400 for the last one correct why correct because here the first one works 45 hours the first 40 by by 10 400 and the sec uh, and we have five over time five by two 10 10 by uh, 10 which is 100 plus 400 500 that's right and for the second one it's correct 35 times uh, times 20 because the the period for the second one it is here Victor we have from 10 to 30 incremented by 10 so the first one 10 second one 20 20 by 35 700 because 35 less than 40 and last thing 60 it's more than 40 the first 40 40 by 30 1200 and last 20 by 2 which is 40 by 30 1200 plus 1200 2400 which is correct good we did the second part so we can write here a comment calculate as example calculate calculate the money okay uh, next step we want to ask user to enter employee name then I'll put a sentence with the employee name and how much paid for that week so we will ask user to enter an employee name so here we can write a comment please ask okay to ask the user so we have uh, say name equal input input please enter please enter uh, the employee name name then go to next line you can uh, just remind him how to enter the name uh, example should be a string so like this say Ahmed as example or whatever then don't show me the result on the command window now I will check now is Ahmed is the first name in this in names in names Victor uh, let me write n here better okay just a variable name called n or selection whatever okay 
is uh, Ahmed here? Uh, if if he entered Ahmed, is the first name here? If the first name, I will say that uh, as example counter J equal to one. If uh, Ahmed is the next one, the J should be two and so on. So we need a for loop. So for again say I we can use I no problem from one to length same problem guys same idea length of P or uh, what any one of the vectors length of P for this loop for what just to check the name entered by user what is the index of this name inside this vector is it the first second third fourth how I will check so for loop we can say that F F the name which is n equal equal to what the names the names of i the names of i if this name equals the names of i that means i here it is the value i'm searching or i want it j equal i so i'm just if this correct if this statement is correct take the index i the name index is i save it as j that's it this is what i want from this for loop outside the loop here we want to print a message so here we can write a comment print a message okay what this message is we can uh, use f print f we can say that uh, the pay rate i'm sorry like this okay we can say that pay pay rate uh, or number not paid it, sorry uh, money money uh, or we can say that Ahmed this person which is a string a string got paid this amount of money and say that I want to see, uh, to show just one decimal place and this money it is in uh, as example AAD dirhams for this week okay then go to next line from where I will get uh, the name it is from n from it will get the, the number of the money it is uh, that calculated which is m m but which m exactly it depends on what it depends on the j value the j value so m of j m of j why j because the j it is containing the index of that name okay so let me run the program show you the result save run the program let me use this file again to enter the values I will use just three it should be 10 not 3 as in the question but no problem just to make it simple control C control V this is number of hours Say that I have the rate, the first one 10, second one 20, third one 30. Okay, please enter the name of the employee. See, I will select MOH. So I will write MOH. Remember that MOH is the second one. See, uh, MOH got paid 700. Let me check that's true or not. Go to names. See, uh, MOH is the second one. The second one go to money here the second element it's 700 which is what we got here this is how we can solve this question so as you see this is the full code for the question it's very simple but you have to uh, just know how to enter the the values by the way as i told you uh, this is very simple solution but also we have other solution that we can ask user to enter the first name second name third name and save it in a vector in this case we need a loop and also we need another loop to uh, ask user to enter the pay rate for each one the first second third and same thing for the the, the number of hours or we can make one loop to read the name and the pay rate and the number of hours for the first one and second one and so on and so on if you uh, want me to solve it like this please write some comments in the uh, youtube video channel okay but i think uh, this is the best way to solve the question thank you so much